Good afternoon. It is Thursday afternoon, December 30th, 2021. This is an update on the strong winter storm expected to impact the area beginning tonight, lasting through Saturday. Here's a summary of our expected weather events. Precip is expected to spread southwest to northeast this afternoon and evening. In fact, some areas are already seeing some light rain uh, primarily across the boot hill and then areas west and southwest of Demi. For snow levels, we expect them to start off around 8,000 feet, but they will gradually rise throughout the day tomorrow, topping out around 9,000 feet. And then by Friday evening into Saturday morning, expect them to drop to around 5,500 feet by the time everything is said and done. This means that there are, there are going to be some heavy snowfall totals, especially in our highest elevations. We will also be very windy with this system, primarily on Saturday, although it will be breezy tomorrow. Wind gusts, though, on Saturday could top out between 50 and 60 miles per hour. The system will also bring in some colder air. By Sunday morning, windshield values could be below zero in the mountains and in the teens to single digits in the lowlands. We do have some uncertainties with this forecast, as with the case of most forecasts. The biggest uncertainty is snow levels, where the, what they'll start off with, how high they'll get, and how low they will come by the time precip ends Saturday afternoon and evening. And with the uncertainty of snow levels, that means our, our uncertainty there is uncertainty with snow timing and amounts, especially for places like Cloudcroft, which is expected to be near the rain snow uh, line for the entire event. We feel pretty good about our rainfall amounts, um, pretty good confidence on that. Uh, where we have lower confidence is in the mountains. We're also still looking to fine tune our wind speeds for Saturday. Um, there's a little uncertainty on how strong wind gusts will be in the afternoon. And then wind chill values on Sunday morning are also a little uncertain as winds will be decreasing throughout the night and into the morning. Um, if winds are quicker to slow down, then wind chill values will be higher. Here's a quick summary of the timing of events. Um, we expect rain to start this afternoon and evening for most locations. There will be a decrease overnight, although precip will mainly stay in the mountains and continue with snow elevations around 8,000 feet. By tomorrow morning, uh, precipitation will increase area-wide, snow levels will rise, and a few thunderstorms will be possible in the afternoon. Friday night, we do expect precip to decrease once again, although it will continue in the mountains and snow levels will begin decreasing throughout the night. And by Saturday morning, uh, expect snow levels to drop to around 5,500 feet. There will be some scattered showers in the lowlands and continued snow in the mountains. We do expect precip to end by Saturday evening with snow levels continuing to lower. That may give us a very brief opportunity for a little rain or rain snow mix, or sorry, a little snow or rain, rain snow mix in the lowlands before all said and done, but we do not expect any significant accumulations. And then by Sunday morning, it will be quite cold. Here's a quick look at the graphics and expected rainfall amounts. As you can see, a lot of the low locations are expected to get over a half inch of rain, a little bit lower as you go toward truth or consequences, and a little lower as you go into southern Hudspeth County. The heaviest totals look to be out west of the divide, with some areas approaching an inch of rain. S snowfall amounts, again, heaviest totals will be over the mountain. Cloudcroft, it looks to see over a foot of snow with most of that falling Friday night into Saturday. Lower amounts in places like Silver City, and then even a dusting possible out west in the lowlands. Wind gusts, again, will be a, another concern and a noticeable impact with wind gusts over 50 miles per hour uh, likely in most lowland locations. And then again, the cold for Sunday morning. Here's a look at your actual air temperatures with uh, lowlands falling into the mid-teens to mid-20s in El Paso and single-digit temperatures expected in the mountains. Combine this with wind, it's going to feel much colder. The temperature is well below zero, windshield value is well below zero in the mountains, and it feeling like in the teens and the lowlands and even some single digits in places like Lordsburg. Here's a, a current look at our latest headlines. We have winter storm watches out for much of the Gila and the Black Ranges and much of the Sacramento Mountains. 
For the areas above 7,500, 8,000 feet, the timing for these watches starts 5 a.m. tomorrow morning. That's to account for the uh, uncertainty and the snow level. For lower elevations down to 6,000 feet, the uh, timing starts around 5 p.m. Friday. Both of these, uh, or all the products, expire by Saturday evening. We do expect these uh, watches to become winter storm warnings. Um, and we also expect to see, uh, to issue some wind advisories or even possibly some high wind warnings for Saturday. So keep an eye out for changes in uh, headlines as we go throughout tonight and into tomorrow. Once again, here's a summary of impacts. The biggest concern is probably the heavy snowfall, especially for the higher elevations. Well, we could see several, or we do expect to see several inches of snow, especially above 8,000 feet. Uh, with the freezing level uh, hovering around 9,000 feet, it will lead to a wetter snow, and this could cause some damages to trees and structures. Strong winds are also expected, um, which could cause difficult driving conditions and some minor tree damage. And in the mountains, this could also create some near blizzard conditions. And then of course, the cold, protect those pets, pipes, plants, and people, especially Sunday morning, and the cold will continue into Monday as well. As always, things can change between now and the event. Be sure to stay tuned to the uh, latest information, a lot of which will be available on our social media ch channels, Facebook and Twitter. Um, and then, of course, you can check our webpage at weather.gov uh, slash El Paso. That's all I have. Uh, thank you for listening.